Seriously, friends, you have got to stop listening to the nursing school rumors. Like, can somebody please tell me what is the benefit of listening to all the rumors out there about nursing school? I don't see any. It's only going to make you confused, overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, burned out, unmotivated. Not helpful, okay? Let's stop listening to the nursing school rumors. In this video, I'm gonna tell you three things that you need to do to set yourself up for success this term in nursing school because my friend, I promise you can do this. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I just need to read you this to you. <laughs> Said, okay, I have a med search coming up. Should I be as nervous as everyone tells us to be? <laughs> No, my friend, seriously, okay, there is no upside for you to listen to the nursing school rumors and to tell yourself that you can't do it, everyone says it's impossible, and on and on and on and on and on. Not helpful. That is only gonna get you into nursing school super anxious, super nervous, and are you going to study from that place? Of course not. You are not gonna be as productive, as efficient, as like on point as you would be if you were peaceful about it, joyful about it, excited about it, right? We do not need to be stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, burned out in nursing school. That is not helpful for you. So please, please, please stop listening to the nursing school rumors. So many of them are not true. So don't fall for it, okay? You've got to guard your heart. You've got to guard your mind. This is what it takes to pass nursing school. You've got to put that mindset work in to make it happen and stay productive and stay, stay diligent, stay effective when you study so that you can pass. So here are some things that you really need to do when you start nursing school in order to help you do that, okay? Ready? The first one is to meet with your instructor. Make sure that you are communicating with your instructors early and often, my friend. Here's where I really see a lot of nursing students go wrong, is that they are so nervous to talk with your, their instructor or they don't wanna ask questions in class because they don't wanna look dumb. Friend, we all look dumb in nursing school. That's just how it is. You're not supposed to know everything about everything. That's the point. That's why you are here, right? Is to learn. So ask questions, raise your hand, raise your hand in lecture class, raise your hand in clinical. You need to make sure that your instructors know who you are and that you are so dedicated to passing that nothing is going to stop you, okay? So I just was talking to a girl uh, last term. It was the end of the term. She had just taken her final and she had failed her final and she, messaged me on Instagram and she said, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I just failed my final. I just failed the class. I'm going to have to, you know, retake nursing school and blah, 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 blah. And I told her, okay, let's like take it one step at a time. Go meet with your instructor. And guess what? Her instructor passed her. Friends, this is what happens. Your instructor holds the key to you passing. Even if you didn't do well on an exam, your instructor can override that. Did you know that? But you have to show them that you are dedicated to becoming the best nurse that you can possibly be, right? If you are just sitting in the back of the class with your hoodie up and not taking notes, not doing anything that you're supposed to be doing, right? Like not paying attention. Is your instructor going to want to pass you if you fail your final? Of course not. You've got to show them that you care, my friend. So meet with them early and meet with them often throughout the term. Show them you're there. Show them you care. Now, the next thing that's going to set you up for huge success this term is to plan out basically everything. So you've got tons of deadlines going in nursing school, right? You've got clinical days. You've got research papers that are due. You've got care plans that are due. You've got test exam dates. You've got your finals. You've got skills lab and skills checkoffs. And you've got all of the things, right? On top of your life stuff. So here's the thing that happens in nursing school. We assume that we can remember all of the things that we were able to remember before. And that is just simply not true. Here's what happens. When we get into nursing school, it's like you have so much information coming into your brain that you have to make sure that you write everything down or you will forget things, okay? So it's just a reality. Make sure you write it down and that is where a planner really comes in handy. You do not wanna be the person who forgets about an exam one day. 
trust me, you do not want to be a person who forgets about clinical and show up late to clinical or just miss clinical altogether. Not a good thing. You've got to make sure you're writing things down because I promise you, I promise promise you, you will forget things, okay? <laughs> like, don't do that to yourself. Do not make it harder than it needs to be. Make sure you get a planner, write things down, everything. Write it all down because you do not want to keep it all in your mind and risk forgetting something and definitely forgetting something important. You don't want to risk that. Now, kind of along those lines of making sure you don't miss anything, you've got to find a study group and a, a friend group that you can really communicate with. So when I was in nursing school, we used the app called Group Me. You've probably heard about it. It's like a group texting app and everyone was on it. And so we would just, you know, like the day before clinical, we would remind each other, okay, we've got clinical tomorrow. Make sure you don't forget. Make sure you're up at, you know, oh, dark 30. <laughs> uh, seriously, make sure that you have a friend group that you've got each other's backs, right? Like nursing school, you are not meant to do it alone. You should not try to do it all by yourself. Like make sure you have people with you along the way who are supporting you through it, helping you not forget anything. You know, having your back and making sure that you are there for your clinicals, there for your skills, checkoffs, right? And that you understand the things in lecture class. Having a friends group, having a study group is going to be so, so beneficial to you. Not only will you be able to really have each other's back and help you not forget anything, important, right? But you also, if you ever need a partner for a class project uh, or a research paper, then you know somebody to work with, right? Or if you have questions after your lecture class and uh, you just need to go through your lecture notes like we recommend in the Nursing SOS membership community, this is part of our note-taking system, make sure that you meet with another student, okay? And go through your lecture notes to make sure you didn't miss anything. That way you both will be so much more prepared for your exams. Now, it does not have to be your clinical group. That is a huge like mindset thing. I don't know, so often nursing students say that, well, it has to be your clinical group who you study with because they're the ones that you have, you know, lecture class, skills lab, clinical with all the time. Like you're with them all the time, but that's not necessarily true. You can meet and study with anyone else in your class. They do not have to be in your clinical group. Sure, it could be helpful if they're in your clinical group because you do everything together, but it doesn't have to be. So find somebody who you study with really well and they might not be in your clinical group and that's okay, that's all right. So just don't limit yourself there you know, just find a study group, someone to study with, uh, or a group of students to study with, and that will really, really help you out. Now, I would love to hear what your tips were for when you started nursing school. What have you been doing when you first start a new term? What tips do you have for other students to follow? What things set you up for success? Can you please tell me in the comments? Because I'm really curious to hear what you did and how it worked for you. And I know just a few minutes ago, I mentioned our note-taking system and I actually have a YouTube video that covers a lot of those tips. So make sure to click on that video over there and find out how to take better notes in nursing school because that is so, so key to making sure that you pass your exam. So I'll see you over there and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. You're going to do awesome, my friend. See you later. Bye.